Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. And today, we're going to take a quick moment and do one of those fun things that we do um, where we answer viewer mail net. And one of the things that somebody saw in the back of the set was this switch, which we've had for a little while. And they're like, hey, it's a really cool knife switch in the back. Do a video on it. So I figured I'd take a minute and do a quick video on switches, because we haven't done one on switches. I don't know why. It's just a simple thing. For those that don't know, a switch is the electrical equivalent of a valve. So here is a valve for comparative purposes. Valve turns the flow of air or water or whatever on or off. That's all a switch does. It's really simple. Now, that's, that's that kind of valve. We're not talking about this kind of valve, which is the thermionic valve or thermionic valve or something like that. It's a vacuum tube. Not that kind of valve. That's a different video. This is the classic knife switch. Now, switches come in a million different shapes and sizes. The one that everybody is familiar with is one that looks like this. This is a standard light switch like in your home. In fact, this one is a three-way switch. You can tell because it has all kinds of screws on the back that are extra. A uh, normal light switch in your home just has two screws on it plus a third one for ground. This one has four, so it's a three-way switch or a double pull. Now, what double pull means, you get in stuff like double pull, double throw, Pull is how many switched circuits go through the switch. A single pull switch is just one wire in, one wire out, and then the switch in the middle. That's a single pull. This switch can open and close one set of contacts, and it's just, that's it. So this is a single pull, single throw switch. Now, they come in a lot of different sizes. This switch is 120 volts at maximum of like 20 amps. It's probably a, uh, a 15 amp switch. Most light switches are 15 amps. This great big thing will handle 200 amps, so it's pretty gnarly. And this beast next to me, which is just made of awesome, is a 1,200 amp knife switch. Um, this is used in substations and things like that, and it's just beefy. I mean, just that's a manly switch. It's just cool. In fact, it's so big that I can't open it without having to stand on the table to open it up. So to open a switch, you climb up, and you put a foot on it, and you grab the ring, and you pull on it. Now, the reason it has the ring is so that this can be done with a hot stick from the ground. So that's why it's got the ring on there. This is for a guy to reach up with a big red rod and hook this thing and pull it closed. So that it's so cool. I love this thing. So yeah, 1,200 amp switch. Now let's take a minute and talk about poles. Okay, you, you understand we've got, for each switch thing, we have another pole. So for that, we've just got a single pole switch. Now this relay is a double pole switch. So there's two separate switched elements in the thing, and it's double throw, which means for throw, you have to use your imagination here. Imagine we had this contact here, plus this one that we can connect to or disconnect plus another one just like this over here. So we could throw it that way. So we could throw it here, or we could throw it over here. And that's double throw. Ta-da! It's really that simple. Now, you can get into triple pole like this when you get into three-phase power, where you have x, y, and z. In fact, this one here is labeled x. Um, and that's for using like three-phase stuff. And there are three separate switches all ganged together. And this is just a single throw triple pole contactor. So it's a big relay for like switching on motors and stuff like that. Three phase. Now when you get into double pole, you can do some interesting stuff. One of the classic examples is guys that built model trains needed a way to reverse the polarity easily to um, make the train go the other direction. So you have, let's say this is our double pole switch. Okay, so these, this gives us right there um, that's a double pull, single throw switch, just like our knife switch. Okay, imagine the knife contactor like this. Now we had another set of contacts down here. Now we have double throw, double pull. Okay, so this would be a D, P, D, T switch. That's double pull, double throw. And by soldering a pair of wires in an X on the outside terminals, what you do is hook these two to your power supply, your plus and minus, and then send these two off to the train, and we'll just write. Which, of course, is an HO scale train, because that's what everybody uses. And now, if your switch is set up here, the wires are one way, okay, straight. But if you throw your switch down here, the wires are reversed. And that's how you make the train go backwards. Simple. And it's, it's stupidly simple. But 
this took a while for somebody to figure out, and it's, it's, it's clever, it's neat, it's elegant. It's, it's a hack, but it's an elegant hack, and I think it's neat. So that's the basics of switches. You've got everything from your basic little house switch to big beefy 200 amp knife switches. And as Dan on Dan's data is fond of saying, there is nothing that so instantly signifies mad scientist as big gnarly knife switches. So there, just for Dan at Dan's data, we dedicate this knife switch to you because Dan is awesome. I'm actually a huge fan of his. I don't know why he's not a member, but he should be. So yeah, there's a look at switches, big and small. And now I've done a video on the little knife switch on the wall. So you'll notice this back here on the set. It lives right here. We got it donated by uh, Emily. So thank you, Emily, for donating the knife switch. It's awesome. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group, and I'll see you next time. We're going to get back to work. See you guys. <laughs>